Hey everybody, on this episode of Steve Tech, I'm going to talk to you about sleeves, the different type of sleeves, uh, what we're doing with them, how they go in, what the installation is, and what their main purpose is. So I got three different, really exotic, different uh, sleeve setups for you to take a look at. So first, let's look at the um, uh, the general repair sleeve that you do in an iron block. Okay, so if we look right here, this is an LSX block. And uh, when you lean on these things too hard, I promise you, you're gonna crack a cylinder. And that's exactly what we do. So what it does is it'll crack the cylinder up here into the water jackets. You can't really see it, but we do have it machined out already. And obviously, leaks water. So what we're gonna do is we take a repair sleeve. So this is just a straight, simple repair sleeve. This is an eighth inch wall, uh, straight, has a taper on the bottom. And what we do is, we bore the hole to be one thousandths to two thousandths at most. They usually try to be one thousandths tight interference to put this sleeve in the hole. Now we just put this one in because this one broke two cylinders, okay? So you'll see down at the very bottom of the cylinder, right down there, you'll see that is a step. Now so we machine the hole or machine the bore all the way down and then leave the step register for the sleeve to go in and sit on it. So it hits like a sleeve step right there. So when the head gasket, as as we put the uh, head on it, head gasket, anything else that's on top of this, pinches it down, pushes it up against the bottom of the sleeve and then the sleeve can't go anywhere. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna have a shop that just goes all the way through and then puts the sleeve in, just relies on the press of the sleeve in order to keep the sleeve in place. That doesn't work. Uh, with head gaskets, especially with anything with O-ring, it'll end up pushing the sleeve down and then the thing all of a sudden doesn't seal. So we have that ledge down there, a thousandths press, we press this sleeve in there, we'll hit it with, uh, a lot of times we can put uh, liquid nitrogen in it and we can shrink the sleeve, slightly heat up the block, or a lot of times we just beat this thing in with a hammer. It's only a thousandths press or so, so we can do that. Now one thing that you're always going to notice when we do this, this type of repair sleeve, we put something in here into a thousandth smaller hole. Regardless of whatever happens, it makes this hole and this hole right beside it out of round. Promise you it does, it will, period. Because we're putting something in there that's forcing the hole out, just like this, and it has to go somewhere. So it'll always make this cylinder out of round. So you always be prepared that you're going to have to end up honing a thousandths or two more out of these other holes in order to get these things back to being round. Okay, so general repair sleeve, straight, uh, no step, nothing like that, just fixing a crack, sealing that up from behind. Now the thing about an uh, eighth inch wall sleeve like this is that ultimately in big horsepower stuff, you know, a, a thousand horsepower and below really doesn't matter. But in bigger horsepower stuff, it will end up giving up the ghost. So I'm, I'm never going to end up selling this block for anything more than 1,500 horsepower because there's a crack behind the sleeve. Even though the sleeve is perfect and brand new, I'm not going to put uh, any horsepower to this because uh, already on this one, I already had this sleeve. Uh, we sold this to another customer and uh, he ended up leaning on it pretty hard and it cracked the sleeve because there was a crack and no support from behind it. So give you an idea of how thick cylinder bores need to be. So that's an eighth inch, 125 wall. So you need to be really thick, as thick as possible. We'll talk about that here in just a second on another one. So the next kind of sleeve that we have is called a step sleeve. Now you can see that there's a step right up here. So instead of putting a register down in the bottom, then we end up having to machine a counter bore in the top, so uh, most all the uh, drag race stuff, my SMX, uh, Hemi's, uh, most all blocks that aren't a wet sleeve will have some form of step if it's in aluminum. Because we don't put a sleeve down or a step down at the bottom, we actually make this register, make this counter bore that's this, this height and this diameter, so the sleeve goes in and then it captures it and keeps it uh, in place right here. So the head gasket and the head come on they bolt it down and then it all pinches together right here and holds it all in place in the deck surface. Okay, now that's a really good way of doing it. I'll show you on uh, uh, my SMX on how this is the best way of doing it in my personal opinion. 
Um, so we can do that. And then there is what we call a mid sleeve. Now this is a wet sleeve or also known as a, like a Darton mid sleeve. Other people make these sleeves. And these ones are fairly complicated because where it registers is right here. So it goes down, it needs to seal up around this area here. So there's still a bunch of material in the block here. This is all completely open. Water flows around the outside of the sleeve. Uh, has a slight, real small channel to try getting a little bit of water through here, um, which is marginal in my opinion. And uh, then it has water comes up through the outside of the sleeve right through these holes, right in this area. All right, so water comes in, goes around the sleeve, comes up through the holes, and then you have to modify the cylinder head so that the that these passages are all transferring water up into the cylinder head. If it's a if it transfers water, and it's not a dry deck deal. Okay, uh, I prefer to do these things in dry deck because uh, when these blow a head gasket, they still suck and they still spray water out everywhere. So, as to show you the block that these need to go into and the other reason why I'm not a big fan of a mid sleeve design we can go over here to this LS block now this is a billet LS block really nice piece and in this uh, uh, 2000 horsepower and below I think they're pretty decent in fact 2000 is like the max that I would ever want to put in these things and this is just from experience of what I've seen happen with this in particular block and others so this sleeve will go into the hole and you see that my biggest problem with these is this is the bottom register that the sleeve sits in and then the sleeve sits right on this ledge right here. Then with the cylinder head clamps it down forces it into here. That I don't have a problem with that's not a real big deal. But you notice there's nothing up here. Nothing up here. All it does is have sleeves that come in and interlock well there's nothing that is there's nothing that holds this block from you know you could hit this with a hammer and just knock it right out there's nothing that holds this here except the head bolt one small head bolt um, I don't like it because I want to have all this deck surface all uniform solid as much as possible with with a sleeve top because what I've found is that these sleeves when they're like this in a wet sleeve design or a mid sleeve that I just can't get this gasket ring to stop uh, leaking because you can't really see it here but there's nothing that really I mean it's it's registered yeah yeah I understand it's just there's really nothing there that is capturing supporting and clamping everything all together in one solid unit and so I've always had gasket problems with these because the top of the sleeves move, moves around like this. I mean, this is over exaggerated, but it only takes a thousandths or two thousandths of movement in here to eventually uh, brunel that gasket and just make the thing go like this. Then all of a sudden this thing's leaking. So I'm not a big fan of this. If this thing makes, uh, you know, 1500 horsepower in that range, 15, 16, 17, it's probably not a big deal. Nice wet jacketed block. Um, I did do this differently my replacement sleeves because I don't want to have the water coming up through here because I'm going to dry deck this. I've made these solid. So there's no longer going to be any water that comes up through the deck surface at all. You can see here that there's even a little bit of passages right there and right there. Uh, we're going to block all this off and just run this and uh, figure out a, a better way of doing this and making this more solid deck and just not running any water in between the head gasket. So nothing, if it ever does blow a head gasket, it doesn't spray water all over the place, okay? The ultimate way of doing it, what I feel, and what have been proven out, this is my SMX block. Now these sleeves here are a step sleeve. You can see that they do interlock. There is aluminum material in between, but I have no water that comes up through here whatsoever none okay and what this does is there is quite literally uh, half an inch of material behind the sleeve all the way around the board with the thickness of the sleeve so you're looking at nearly uh, a little over hand so half so it's almost three quarters of an inch thickness all the way around now this is this is water jacketed this is my deal 
this whole thing is water jacketed. We don't care about running water in between the cylinders. Uh, we just need to have mass of water all the way around the cylinder. We don't ever bother going in between because you can't. You'd have to make this motor so large, physically long, in order to get water through there and still have thickness in the material. So, if we move that out, it would you know the bores would end up. It'd be making this block probably inch and a half, two inches longer, just in order to get material behind there to make this area of the sleeve strong enough to run water in between it. So that's why this is a still a Siamese uh, bore. All blocks, all race block stuff is Siamese except for that mid sleeve deal. They try to still run some stuff through there, but there's no contact, nothing's really pressed or put together. It's just as like this. Okay? So this, in my opinion, is the best way of doing this. Uh, no water through here. Everything is solid. This is a solid piece of uh, material all the way through here. I mean, this uh, there is uh, about three quarters of an inch of deck, deck thickness through here before it gets into any water passage. Then it has three quarters of an inch total thickness of cylinder bore sleeve around it. But all to put that sleeve in there.